Uh, just a couple of things I need to do. I need to make a, a knife sheath for uh, his side. Um, I'm just going to put the final touches on this uh, clay. And uh, I hope I don't screw it up at this stage. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've tilted the uh, clay uh, almost 45 degree angle. That's so I can see down here. I can stand up and look down on it, but my back is so bad, it starts hurting about five seconds into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. When you get old, you have to figure out other ways of doing things. <laughs> I was going to take this clay to the uh, foundry on Wednesday of this week, but I'm going to have to delay that. I've got a couple coming in Saturday that have been following me on Facebook and YouTube, and they want to see this, and I'm, I'd like to have it here for them. So I called uh, my client and he said no problem so I'll take it in on Monday of next week What I'm trying to do is make it easy for the mold maker to make a mold of all this hair or mane. Uh, make it easy for him to do that without having to have a bunch of deep undercuts. Deep undercuts cost more when you're finishing off a bronze. Or you do the uh, design on the hat band because I was trying to do it while I was bent over standing up and it wasn't as good, comfortable as I am right now. So now that I'm comfortable, I can do a better job. I think I'm going to put little tacks on this. Address that's authentic.
with the uh, rest of these uh, tacks. That's what I'm replicating here. On when I get the horse back down on, or the whole piece back down on its normal position because it's hard for me to see that underside of that uh, headband right now. All right, I'm going to put the horse back in an upright position uh, along with the figure of the warrior. I think I've got everything I need to touch up at this angle. There wasn't much to do. I'm going to do the feathers for the uh, back of the uh, tail and uh, that knife. So let's get this uh, back upright. One reason I put this little fondue stick right here is to remind me to do a knife sheath. And I'm going to have the knife sheath sort of sitting at an angle on his back. All right, I got to make a buckle back here. Because <laughs> uh, he's got to have a way of keeping the belt on his waist. belt holes I mean the uh, holes in the belt for the uh, fastener which ah, got off the center there I put a piece of fondue stick in the uh, sheath to act as a uh, to act as an armature for the uh, it's hard to work and talk at the same time I've uh, put a stick in the uh, sheath to act, at, act as an armature for the handle of the knife. And all I'm doing now is just shaping the uh, leather sheath until it's the way I want it.
I want it to look like an elk horn handle. And that's why I wanted to give me a substantial armature for the handle. I'm using monster clay for the uh, knife and the sheath only because it holds its shape better than regular clay. All right, my battery's running real low. So I'll just show you what I'm doing. I'm just putting tacks on the uh, <clears throat> knife sheath. All right, I put the uh, knife sheath on. I kind of like it where it's at. Um, I'll leave it there. It's it just adds to the uh, eye candy. That's what I call what's going on here. Anything that uh, draws the eye and pleases the eye, that's what I call eye candy. I still have the feathers to do on the back of the tail, uh, but I'll do that next time. <coughs> My battery is running out on my GoPro camera, and I've got to quit and charge it up. And so I'll see you uh, when I put the final touches on this clay, which will probably be uh, probably be to, uh, Friday. I don't know. I'd like to start something new or even work on something that's old. But I'll make that decision when that time comes. Uh, like I said, I'll be taking this to the uh, foundry on Monday. And, uh, well, I'm happy with it. I really am. All right. Good night, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Adios. Give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.